Labeled the Nissan's technology flagship, the latest generation of the LEAF is competing for the buyers by offering streamlined looks, longer range, and truly comprehensive package of driver's assistance and interior electronics. This EV comes in two battery options, 40 and 62 kilowatt hours with 150 and 226 miles respectively. The former variant is priced under $30,000 and can go as low as $22,490 if all of the incentives are accounted in. For the money, you will get a fully smartphone connected EV powered by a 147 horsepower motor. It rides on 16 inch wheels and benefits from e-pedal technology that lets you abandon the brake pedal and take advantage of battery recuperation. The current flagship within Renault's electric vehicles lineup is the Zoe 50, which was introduced for the 2020 model year. However, the most appealing model to the average consumer is the recently discounted 41 kilowatt hour unit, which is priced as low as 28,500 euros. There is also an option to pay even less if you are okay with leasing the battery for just 60 euros a month instead of paying the full 7,000 premium for its ownership. The French EV has clean styling, comes in two trims, gets a humble 107 horsepower motor, and can cover up to 218 miles on a charge, making it one of the best selling commuters within Europe. Though the all-electric version of the Ionic is still quite young, in 2020, it arrived sporting a number of visual upgrades coupled with a few powertrain enhancements. On the outside, the new design headlights, DRLs, and 16-inch wheels are now available. While the cabin updates focus on the restyled dashboard, new touch controls for the heating and air conditioning, plus the improved 7-inch infotainment. Chasing more range, the 2020 Ionic gets a 38 kilowatt hour battery, representing a 36% increase in capacity, which should translate to around 160 miles of driving. It also comes with a more powerful motor, making 136 instead of 120 horses. On the market since 2012, the Super Mini hatch debuts with an all-electric powertrain for the 2020 model year. The car is built on the new common modular platform from the Group PSA, which can be used for both electrified and ICE vehicles. Peugeot says that the E208 will offer up to 188 miles of driving on a charge, powered by a combination of a 50 kilowatt hour battery and a 136 horsepower electric motor. 
It will also be compatible with AC and DC charging facilities, with battery replenishment time varying from 7 hours with a standard onboard charger to 5 hours with an optional 11 kilowatt one or just 30 minutes at a public station. The market of EVs in China is the fastest growing on our planet, with 1.2 million units of plug-in vehicles sold in 2018. One of the reasons for such high sales volumes are heavy tax incentives and low prices. Just check out the KZE by Renault, which is expected to cost $8,500 after deducting the government's rebates. This subcompact crossover shall be able to cover 110 miles on a charge and regardless of the beyond affordable price tag, will get a rear view camera, small infotainment with navigation and fast charging capability. The release is planned for the 2021 in China, while the European sales prospects have not been announced yet. Though the Spanish Seat and Czech Skoda seem to have nothing in common at a first glance, currently both companies are owned and operated by the Volkswagen Group. So no wonder the brands has recently revealed all electric projects, Mi and Citigo, share their platforms and technologies. The car's drivetrain setup includes an 83 horsepower electric motor juiced by a 36.8 kilowatt hour battery. The tiny hatchbacks promise up to 145 miles of range and can be recharged in 60 minutes using a 40 kilowatt fast charger. Design-wise, both models follow in the footsteps of their gasoline siblings and, surprisingly, even match them in boot and passenger space. An electric car that charges itself is a dream for any driver. But today, only the people who pre-order the EV by the German startup Sono Motors can expect to get the world's first model. Covered with 248 solar cells, this automobile can replenish up to 21 miles per day, which is roughly the average distance covered by city commuters. When fully charged, the 35 kilowatt hour battery is good for 150 miles and, when using rapid chargers, 80% of the capacity is restored in 30 minutes. To save up the cash, this electric car could be purchased without a battery for as low as 16,000 euros with consequent lease options.
Expected to come to the U.S. shores in early 2020, this subcompact crossover is often considered one of the most anticipated electric cars of the year. The car receives some serious powertrain updates, which almost double its previous range, battery capacity, and power output. The new generation electric Soul features a 200 horsepower motor paired to a liquid-cooled 64 kilowatt hour battery pack that supports level 3 DC fast charging. With this powertrain and upgraded 4-mode regenerative braking system, this Kia should be good to travel for 243 miles. It also demonstrates much improved acceleration and performance, sprinting from 0 to 60 in 7.2 instead of 11.2 seconds. Being the first model of Volkswagen's all-electric ID series, this five-door hatch is expected to start deliveries of the launch edition in early 2020, with its base modification hitting the market sometime in 2021. The EV is also one of the several models developed under the company's umbrella of brands that will be built on the basis of the new MEB platform. The car was announced to get three battery options, with the base 45 kilowatt hour one offering up to 184 miles of range. The top trim will feature a 77 kilowatt hour pack that should have enough juice for traveling slightly more than 300 miles. <laughs> 